a blessing to be with you today. You are welcome to Learn with Jones. My name is Josephine, a doctor of philosophy, in philosophy of religion and theology, a mentor, a teacher, a professional life coach. I've been discussing with you, giving sharing tips on certain life transitions that require you to have a coach to walk along with you. And today I'm sharing with you on grief or trauma transition. This one actually includes so many types of complex emotions. I don't pray for anybody to be in grief or to have a trauma because it could have a kind of lasting effect that could be negative. And that is why anybody who is in grief or in kind of trauma needs to see a therapist or a counselor. And after a counselor, a therapist has healed the pain, you now want to get out of the pain and achieve a greater growth development. That is what we do as a coach in language Joe's to unlock your transformations. So join me as I share you the, yeah, the, the, the things you need to understand about grief and trauma transition. Grief and trauma transition. The grief or trauma transition refers to the process individuals on the go. And through those stages of grief and trauma, you now transit toward healing and resilience. Let me give you some brief overviews about what it does. Let's talk about the initial impact. You've just lost a loved one, a beloved person. Or you just undergone certain traumatic events. This often triggered by significant losses or distressing events such as the death of a loved one, a traumatic experience, or a major life upheaval. The initial impact can be overwhelming. It can lead to shock, denial, anger, sadness, and even confusion. After the initial impact, then you need to acknowledge the facts and then start processing it. So this transition begins with acknowledging and accepting the reality of the loss or trauma. Individuals engage in various coping mechanisms, such as seeking support from others, expressing emotions, and making sense of what had happened. Sometimes cannot even make an event, especially when it comes to like an accident, either a air disaster or vehicle accident, somebody or oh, you just say, oh, bye-bye, okay, we we'll see you in a second and everything, and wow, because of accident, the person is no more. This stage involves confronting painful memories because that memory can be very, very painful. Emotions and triggers associated with the loss or the trauma. Adaptation and adjustment. You can see the steps, the initial impact, acknowledging and then processing, then you now need to adapt and adjust. So as individuals gradually face their grief and trauma, they adapt to changes and integrate their experiences into their lives. And this may involve finding meaning and purpose amid adversity, reassessing beliefs, 
and priorities and developing new coping strategies to navigate daily challenges that could come from it. Seeking support and resources. Transitioning through grief and trauma often requires support from friends, family, therapists, support groups, or all the resources. Counselors. Connecting with others who understand and can empathize with their experiences can provide validation, comfort, and encouragement along the healing journey. Now comes the recovery and resilience. Why the pain of grief and trauma may never entirely disappear. Individuals can gradually build resilience and find hope for the future. And we are talking of hope now. Recovery involves reclaiming a sense of stability, rebuilding trust in oneself and others, and rediscovery, joy, meaning, and purpose in life. Honoring the past, embracing the future. That doesn't mean you have forgotten the past or what happened, but the grief and trauma has ultimately involves finding a balance between honoring the past and embracing the possibilities of the future. Embracing life once again. And it involves creating rituals or memorials to commemorate the loss, fostering a sense of connection with loved ones who have passed, and embracing the opportunities for growth, connection, and fulfillment. After you have healed the pain, that is where coaches now come along. The grief or trauma transition is a very, very unique and deeply personal journey. If it doesn't happen to you, you cannot understand it. You can only visualize it or empathize. But that personal journey unfolds at its own pace for each individual. While the process may be challenging and non-linear, it can lead to profound insights, transformation, and renewed strength in adversity. All I want you to know at this point in time is that the Lord cares for you. You need to believe and have faith in him. And he's the only one who can heal you totally. But when you now want to move ahead to achieve something, you might require a coach to walk along that path with you. May God help us all, especially those who are currently in grief or those who are facing certain traumatic events right now. I pray that it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.